The tone changed in Bangkok Sunday. Vows of non-violence from both sides a distant memory outside Government House, the seat of power in Thailand. A few anti-government protesters threw firecrackers and rocks at riot police. Volleys of tear gas came the other way. It cleared the crowd, but not for long. So this basically disperses the crowd for a matter of minutes, but then they just come straight back once the tear gas actually clears. So it's a very different situation here on the streets of Bangkok, as you can see. Water bottles thrown in. Water cannon fired out. A game of cat and mouse that turned sour for some. A member of the government they're calling on to step down spoke to the people Sunday. Deputy Prime Minister Pracha Promnok urged people to stay at home between 10 p.m. and 5 a.m., saying intelligence reports show other groups may be taking advantage of the situation. Overnight Saturday, clashes between opponents and supporters of the government turned deadly. Tens of thousands of pro-government red shirts were in a central Bangkok stadium. After a number of protesters died, they called off their rally for fears of more violence. But elsewhere in Bangkok Sunday, it was all whistles and flags. Numbers may have been smaller than last week, but they were just as vocal. Outside the police headquarters, there was a blunt message to the riot police lined up behind barbed wire. Chanting, slaves, get out. Calling them slaves of a government they want banished. We're just here for one cause, we're just here because something is wrong in Thailand and, and we have to get rid of it. For our side, we are very peaceful. We just have the whistle and we just have the heart to come. A peace that left one of the capital's streets Sunday. The question is, can it return? Paula Hancock's CNN Bangkok.